Hello traders, welcome to this video from Elite Currency. My name is Chris Forsick. Here we will discuss the Ultima EA, the strategy, uh, also other things like how it's linked to SWAT and the target tool that is used for the EA called Bullseye. So a lot of good things coming up here. You can see the agenda uh, basically right here. And uh, let's start, all right? So first of all, uh, the strategy, I'll reveal some of the details, not all of them. Now, usually speaking, uh, we do, of course, dive into all details, like with ChemACD and SWAT, uh, we do. With the Ultima EA, we only reveal part of it because it's a proprietary strategy, but we do offer here the chance to trade the EA, which is the most important, and I'll explain how you can join, uh, at least for the next few weeks still, uh, through, of course, our website. So take a look at the end of this webinar or the link in the bottom of this uh, video here, there's a description, how to join, all right? In the meantime, I'll discuss the strategy or at least some parts of it. So the Ultima is a classical trend pullback and continuation system, but it does that in a very uh, robust way because typically what I've seen from trend pullback continuation systems is that the win record is maybe around 30 to 35%. Ultima EA manages to increase that to a good 55 to 60% win rate. I'll probably, I think I have the stats. No, that's in a different video. So that's a, a very substantial increase. And it, it's because of the useful filters that it has. And I cannot explain all of the filters, but I will certainly some of them in, in the upcoming video. Uh, it is also, I think, doing so well because of the excellent targeting that is done with Bullseye and also with Wiz. And both tools and indicators, if you're interested, are available on our website uh, for a, a small fee there. I think about 199, if I remember correctly, euros. But really great tools. And I think, you know, certainly a big strength of Ultima EA is also based on the bullseye besides the very, very good filters. And uh, I must say, as a fourth aspect, the, the very flexible trade management, I think it is great how the Ultima EA shifts its TP and stop losses depending on the volatility and, and the price swings. So it, it will move the targets and stop losses depending on what is actually happening, let's say on the ground as price is moving. So it's not a fixed in stone way. It's really very dynamic. And I think it helps uh, create that bigger win rate and also allows you know for big wins. So I think that's really some of the core aspects why the Ultima EA has such a track record as it does. If, if you don't know the track record, I would recommend taking a look at other videos that we recently uploaded to see all of the back testing and live trading we've done. This video is not going to be about that because I don't want to repeat this information, but I think that's one of the reasons why those stats are, are so, uh, so good. So what we're looking for, I'm going to reveal parts of it so that you have at least an idea and I think that this will probably give you a little bit more of a, you know, background so that, because in the first video, I didn't explain anything about the strategy. And I can imagine that, uh, that in that case, it might be still a little bit difficult uh, to understand because you just see the stats and you don't see what and why. So I do want to give some background here. So basically the step one is the trend. Uh, we use the 144 EMA close and a very important tool is also the Wiz tool with deciding the trend. Then we look for a pullback. We use a HMA, that's a, uh, I think it's a hull moving average if I remember correctly, HMA. We have very special rules for those pullbacks, okay, that uh, help filter out deep or shallow fullbacks, pullbacks, excuse me. And uh, therefore, uh, we focus on the retracements that are optimal in their size. And uh, here you can see uh, actually a image for that. There we go. All right, so this is one of those nice candle retracements that qualifies. Then we look for the continuation, breakout, and we have special rules for avoiding false breakouts. Okay, and I think that this is a very important step as well. All of these add up because generally speaking, once again, as I mentioned before, breakout continuation setups really can do well, but have a low win percentage. Even with a low win percentage, you can still... Uh, earns good pips, I think, in the long term. But with these special rules for avoiding false breaks, 
uh, is one of those advantages. You can really you see that Ultima is managing to increase that win percentage so much. And the special rules for avoiding false, avoiding false breaks is, is one of them. So we're looking for breakouts and uh, we're not entering with the breakout right away though. Step four, filters. We have reward to risk ratios we're looking at. We are uh, looking at uh, pending orders and we're looking at bullseye levels that are based on the price swings. So that's before we enter basically the difference between the breakout and, and the entries, these filters, and these are a couple of them, but not all of them. And then the trade management, last but not least, it's dynamic. As I mentioned at the beginning, it is depending on the volatility and the price swings and it will adjust the TP and the TP and the stop loss. And I think that is why it works so well from a defensive point of view. But on an offensive note, it also is able to aim for pretty nice wins at times, larger wins. And that can really help boost the equity curve and uh, really show some big steps forward at times. So I think it's a really, really nice mix of defense and offense here uh, with this 100% rules-based strategy. And uh, I think that's why it, it, it you know shows the track record that it, that it has so far. So this is just a few kind of insights right it's not a full you know overview of the entire strategy it is complex it is detailed there are a lot of sub rules um i mean it it's a well-balanced strategy it's not uh too many rules necessarily i'm just saying that uh it is complex but also at the same time all of it makes sense with regard to the you know, the dynamic and the rules and they are, they're logical things. Let me say it this way. That's what I mean. Because some of these strategies, you know, they're kind of over-optimized and they are creating some rules that makes only the strategy better on paper, but not from a logical point of view. So what I mean is that the system is complex, but, but logical at the same time. Everything does make sense when looking at it. All, all of it is within the trend breakout continuation paradigm and it's flexible and looking at price volatility and movements so it's sturdy complex but it makes sense at the same time and has been really showing great results uh, in live trading but also in back testing that's uh, that's what i wanted to say all right so now this particular approach we built for ourselves and our goal was to build up an account basically retire right so uh it's not necessarily it is not meant for us as a daily weekly or monthly um like income of course i i, I don't think that it's more di let me say it this way income of course is in any case a difficult kind of thing to necessarily achieve uh, i think with uh such a rules-based approach in my view maybe i'm wrong i don't know uh, but that's not the goal of this particular EA. It's not to reach a certain goal each day, week, or month. It is really to look at long-term profitability with a low losing streak. And uh, that low losing streak allows us to trade it with the max risk that we think is allowable, which is 5%. That's really the max max. And uh, because of the low, low lo losing streak, we can trade it, or we do trade it with 5% risk. Despite the uh, high risk, the drawdown that we typically see as a max is around 50%. That might sound a lot, which in a way it is, depending on uh, your risk appetite. But it's not that much when you consider, of course, that each trade has 5% risk per setup. The drawdown, of course, is way lower if, if less risk is obviously used. So because of the low 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 losing streak or short losing streak we're a lot we uh, we traded with big risk basically and despite that big risk the drawdown is um uh, is high but still okay considering the bigger long-term profits that we see so that's our goal long-term profits uh at the same time having a decent win rate 55 to about 65 typically we see 55 to 60 our goal was 55 to 65 Having a fully rules-based system was one of our goals and also that we tested with the highest modeling accuracy and that's what we did, 99.9%. All right, so that was our goals uh, so that you have an idea about what we wanted to achieve. 
And uh, yeah, the SWAT and Ultima are uh, you know highly connected. Not fully, not everything. There are certainly some differences. Uh, SWAT traders would certainly recognize some of these things, like the 144 MA, for instance, the HMA, uh, and other uh, moving averages, and of course the WIS tool. That is something that Ultima does use that SWAT uses too, so there is similarity in that. But there are also new things developed by Mislav Nikolic, of course, the creator of uh, the Ultima EA, and together, Mislav and I uh, nicely work with the, with the SWAT tools, but we also created new things, price swings and dynamic trade management that I think, among others, are really the, uh, the great thing of Ultima, plus the bullseye target tool. And I think that Mislav did a great job with that. And that is something that I want to use for SWAT as well. It's going to be one of the updates coming up in SWAT. I'm not using it yet in the uh, current SWAT course because uh, uh, it is something new. But uh, I, I will be using it partly uh, in the upcoming new SWAT update. So yes, a lot of good things that Ultima brought to the table. Dynamic trade management, using price swings and bullseyes with you know, some couple of great filters and a couple of great rules as well that I, I don't mention here, but that have added to uh, this EA working out so nicely. All right. Uh, a bit of background with regard to the process. I didn't mention that in the first video either. So yeah, it took one and a half years so far and counting. So it's enormous time uh, creating the system, testing it, finding a programmer. Um, and that process didn't work out right away. So finding a new programmer and, and then a new one again, and then finally someone who could do it and then fixing it, testing it, fixing it again, testing it at higher modeling accuracy, improving it, live trading, all of that really, really takes a lot of time. All right, some of the advantages, once again, before I dive into the bullseye Fibonacci indicator, uh, fully automated entries and exits, small losing streaks, low drawdown, well, maybe not low drawdown, but in our view, acceptable drawdown, considering the 5% risk we're set up and considering the high profitability potential, uh, specifically when accumulating, of course, the account and not taking the profits necessarily. So that helps. Uh, and this is part of the uh, equity curve that is shown in backtesting. Uh, years of backtesting on one hour and 50 minute charts. Uh, other years and pairs also look good besides the euro dollar and backtest modeling accuracy 99.9%. .9%. With regard to the bullseye indicator, uh, really great tool based on Fibonacci and the zigzag indicator does it all automatically, fully 100% automated, and uh, is available as a separate indicator as well. You can check out the Elite Currency uh, website. I'll add the link down below for that. And you can see how, in this image here, how well it works, right? Let me show you it a little bit better maybe so we can zoom out like this. There we go. And uh, you can see how these levels are respected. Not everyone, but really great how uh, the levels are really used nicely here. 61, 78, look at that. Very nicely used how these levels are used. And uh, it's fully automated. It's based on the swings. And uh, it's a great way to use fibs, of course. Fibs are placed on swings. Zigzag is used to identify those swings and it's fully automated. So beautiful combination and I think that this target tool is, is one of the main strengths as well, besides the many other things I mentioned for the Ultima EA. Here you see another example of how well those uh, targets work. All right, so really great stuff, not only for targeting, but also it's actually used in the Ultima EA for understanding uh, the chart space, whether it's desirable to trade as well, uh, and you know, it just has many advantages uh, for trading purposes. All right, so let's take a look how you can join. All right, till about mid-February, we're going to keep it open uh, just simply by opening and verif verifying your account via uh, the supported broker that you'll see on the Ultima EA page. And then funding your account is enough. No upfront costs. It's a profit share model. 20 to 30% is shared with uh, the trader and uh, 70 to 80% 
uh, to you uh, as the account makes a profit in a month. If not, then no sharing, obviously, no minimum deposit. Only what the supported broker uh, requires as a minimum, of course, is the minimum, but not from our side. This is going to be valid for a couple of weeks still, and then we're going to close that down and it will be offered as a, as a rental uh, probably later on, but we're not sure when and when or where. So uh, if you're interested, then uh, it's, I guess, better to join uh, mid-February, before mid-February. And... Uh, Take a look, of course, if you think this is something for you. All right. So this is still here for the next weeks. And uh, that's about it. So thank you for visiting this video. We'll be back, of course, with more updates uh, on the markets as usual. Wish you all great trading and a great day. Cheers. Bye-bye.